Hi everyone, my name is Aprupa. I'm a sexuality educator and today I'm going to talk to you about what are some things that you need to keep in mind before the first time you have sex. My girls are better than your girls cuz they're not really girly girls like a girl. It's a very simple formula. The 5 Cs: comfort, conversation, condoms, consent and care. Let's talk about comfort. Well, sex should be comfortable. It should be with someone that you are comfortable with, someone that makes you feel good about yourself. There has to be space for some form of discussion, you know, especially if it's your first time or if it's the first time for the both of you. Tell me, why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I feel like it has to be in a manner that is and a pace that is comfortable for you it has to be in a location like whether it's the bedroom or whether it's a hotel or whether it's somewhere else it has to be in a place that is comfortable for you as well and remember that it's not just like before it's also during and after it has to be an act that uh, prioritizes your comfort and the comfort of your partner at all times is conversation conversation before you engage with each other as to what your expectations are you know what are your concerns what are you afraid of important to discuss all of that and the way you talk it makes it shine dark conversation during the act as well you know porn makes us feel like it's just moans and oohs and ahs but people actually talk to each other during the act they check in with each other and make sure that you know they're actually comfortable they're actually feeling good if there is something else that they would like if they would like to stop this type of conversation needs to happen during the act as well and lots and lots of conversation after the act too to check in with the person and to make sure that it was a pleasurable act for them if they want it something else if there is some other need that is coming up for them maybe they want to be held or maybe they want some space there has to be a lo- lot of space for conversation of this sort make me fly like it did the other night Another important component are condoms. They are the only form of protection that can actually protect you from STIs and prevent unwanted pregnancies. Now a lot of us may have a condom waiting in our wallet for the first time we're about to engage with someone, but make sure that you use a fresh one and store it in a place where there is room and air because the latex may actually erode over time especially when you put it in a tight leather wallet make sure that you read the expiry date on the condom because you don't want to end up with a failed condom and also make sure that you've practiced enough times as to how to use it because you may actually be in the heat of the moment you may be engaging with another person you may not know how to put it on and may skip it and that's not something that we want to do also make sure that you're not tearing the condom with your teeth because it can actually cause cuts and tears in the condom so don't forget to use a condom It is very important for you to both give and take consent. 
just because you might be the woman or you might be the person who's not initiating the act does not mean that you don't need to take consent before you are engaging with another person's body you do need to ask them if they're okay and comfortable with what you're doing yes i and you also need to do regular check-ins throughout the act to ensure that consent is being received and given at all points also you're absolutely allowed to say no at any point that you want even right before you know some form of penetration is about to take place maybe the condom is on you're still allowed to say no at that point and to change your mind and your consent has to be respected Any form of sexual activity without consent is not sex at all it is assault it is punishable and it is never your fault about sex is it can be anything you want for it to be you can experiment with each other's bodies and you can have a lot of fun as long as you have the core principle of caring for each other emotional safety is extremely important when two people are or multiple people are engaging with each other life is hard the way it is but you being aware of you know the nuances in the way a person's body language may change or the way they are responding to you and actually caring about whether or not they're into you and whether or not they're present in the moment is extremely important so make sure that you memorize and know these 5 Cs by heart it will help both you and your partner a lot Until next time stay tuned and stay glamorous